Welcome to the growing city of Waterside. Now in the last part, the focus is very much on developing Strawberry Hills and Forest Hills here. We place the London Eye on the border there after a bit of there. We've got this kind of grand cathedral of there. Now this, I'm going to want to do two things in this part. The first part, I'm going to just pause the game while I talk about it, is we I want to put a kind of a footbridge between this to join this area so that residents here are encouraged to kind of walk through and travel here so what we want to try and do is connect up these areas a bit so the first thing we're going to do is kind of I'm looking for uh, connections that will help us here and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a road out here just kind of extend this out a little bit and the same on this side kind of coming out like that and probably going to take a road across like that just to encourage the flow of the traffic and maybe we'll just bring a back bring a road like this and then what we're going to do is just put a pathway in here where would we we be without pathways and i'm just going to kind of come back this way Gonna go up. I'm gonna build a footbridge across here, and just to connect up into there. So that kind of gives us a double footbridge connection here. And what I'm also gonna do is see if I can get one out of here on this corner. So we're gonna see if we can get a page up, and again across here, down here. So we've got a kind of two number of footbridges there. Now, the next footbridge I'm going to build, if, if you watch the last part, you'll be aware that I was trying to build a footbridge across here, and I'll just demonstrate it. Uh, if I try and take a footbridge off of here and across here, if you kind of look, see where the, the footbridge kind of drops down. So what I'm going to do is do some terraforming now top tip number one before you ever start doing this in game because this tool was introduced in, in a recent patch that allows terraforming but top tip number one here is before you start doing that any terraforming when you've got a city like this that's already built save the game because if you don't you're going to have a lot of problems if things go wrong and what I'm going to do is just click, I'm going to just level out this area here, probably with a, that's probably with a smaller tool, put it on the strongest brush strength, because I don't want it to be massive. And what I just want to do is just pull this area out in a, to a kind of a, a little bit of a bluff, kind of sticking out into the river. Maybe I'll take it down this way a bit like this. and up here a bit so it kind of just sticks out into the river and then what I'm gonna hoping what I'm hoping is gonna happen now is that if I come across like that it's still kind of dipping a little bit here so what I'm gonna try and do is get back to here you can see it's kind of sticking a bit raised so what I'm trying to go on to do is it's obviously maybe if I can smooth it off a bit oh that's that's aggressive I do it is I've got the tool too strong so maybe I need to just soften the tool off a bit and just come out like this and bring this area up a little bit and push this out I don't know why that's creating a kind of raised bump there and I want this to flatten hmm. Bye. I am using the right tool aren't I? Yeah. level terrain yeah so why is that not leveling that tool down well we can create a, 
a flattish area here. Maybe there's something on that corner that's causing a problem. And the idea now is that I want to... That looks a bit better. You can see now if I come in, that actually comes across quite nicely. And then I can just connect that in there. If I start the game back, what that should do now is kind of just encourage these people given a footbridge there so, so basically someone living there can walk through here across there this area here now but that's the first part of this episode now the next part is what it's actually called after which is based on a comment that somebody asked me a long time ago when I was devastating the city trying to get unlocked distinct buildings and that question was is can you build a settlement with no road connections and will people move in? So that's what we're going to try. Um, what I'm going to do is try and make a kind of beach resort along here. So what I'm going to do is kind of, well, how to start this. Uh, probably the best way to kind of describe it to start with is I'm looking... to build it in this area here and grow it so so what we can do is call this no roads or no connections I think that's how you spelled it correctly yep so this is no connections and what I'm going to try and do I'm going to pause the game because there's a lot of power lines there and I'm inevitably going to and I think let's kind of make it try and look a bit like a beachfront type property so I think let's maybe come along here let's go a bit freestyle like that I wanted to get close to this roundabout, but not so close that it will cause a problem. And maybe we're come back straight like that. As I say, I'm kind of destroying these power cables, but I think we can live with that. And I think maybe if we come across here put a straight line there something like that and maybe I mean this is going to be a kind of very very upmarket type area now one thing I do want to do is put a port in so because even though there's going to be no roads we've got to find, provide people with a way to get here so we're going to have to have some kind of port type connection here so maybe if we come across here like that into here we've got a minor road connection there so maybe if I kind of make this a bit wider and maybe come back a bit like that and we'll connect like that. We can just put a connection in there. Um, maybe come out a bit like this. Connect like that. And what we can do now is... Maybe just come in. Well, maybe we'll connect like that. And then we can kind of build in these areas here. So this is going to be no connection. I think what we can do is, well, I'll leave this open for the moment. And obviously we need to reconnect the power lines across here, which I've quite happily destroyed. I 
although we will probably fill these in yeah that's connected I'm just going to start the game and what I'm going to do is kind of got no I've got water here so I think we'll start zoning in a bit of residential here I think we'll go high density now at the moment the only way people can get in is by river so I'm assuming that that's could be a problem now I have thought about it a little bit in the sense that we can't put any commercial or anything like that in at the moment because there'll be no how can you say we would have to provide some industrial connection so to start with this is going to be purely residential and if we wanted buses or trams feeding this area it's going to it will have to put a tram depot in or a bus depot in there but at the moment but what I'm actually going to do is is try and put in some kind of metro link probably coming off of here I don't Oops, that's, well, it's gone off okay, but and maybe we can come across here. Um, maybe we'll start with a a metro station here as well. And we'll just and to start with. I think we'll just kind of create a link like this, backwards and forwards. So we've got a kind of a. Not sure why that's not. Oh, it's not close enough. So we're just going to put connect people in like that. Of course, we're going to need. Everything here is going to have to be completely self-contained. So, I think actually what we're going to do is just put a little. bit difficult to see I think we we'll, would we'll probably grid it actually let's come in like that and come across and that and maybe we we'll come down like that and maybe we'll just keep bisecting it and let's say it doesn't have to be totally elegant as I say, we'll drop the drop a fire station in here, along with a medical center, so, or is that a medical center or no, a police station? We we'll get some health in. We're going to need a crematorium, so we're going to get that in. This is the problem that ev all the services are going to have to be kind of just dotted around. And I don't want them on the dual carriage, the, the two lane or four lane around the outside. So I think what we'll do is just start to spread the power like that the roads like this. And so we've got a, a metro station there connecting up and eventually we can expand it out I think we can you've guessed it I'm just going to put some pathways in and maybe another one over here just to fill this area in and we can just keep the trend going on this side and I've put a house right in the middle of it I'm just going to pause the game because we're going to cut the power lines I'm just gonna come like this and maybe we'll actually put a road actually there shouldn't be much reason for people to want to use the roads actually they, they, they're gonna need really to walk around in this this part of the, the city so we'll just put Maybe another one there. 
to check the power lines before I and that's actually sat there quite happily so and I say we'll put a bit more there actually let's put some parks in here so we'll put a small park in round the near the metro station just to deal with the noise so we've got this working now it's kind of moving along we've got a bit of demand for commercial so we need to keep growing this commercial area we will experiment with putting commercial into that area over time but to start with we're just going to try and see how that goes it's got a footpath connection there see if they've actually started to has anyone using this footbridge can't see anybody just yet but i'm sure it's going to come become popular in the future And I suspect that I won't be able to put any leisure stuff along the front here. But we can give it a go. It will do it, but we'll have to put a, bring a road out. Because one of the problems is if I click that there, this will start to say there's no road. Because the road doesn't come out far enough. And what we'd have to do is put a road here, down like that. Which kind of spoils the effect of the beach. So, and I say we'll just keep growing this area up out a bit at the moment. And it's got a bit dark again, so the lights have come on. So, we're just going to grow this area up. I mean, I have had a thought of maybe creating a train loop or something like that, or creating a road here, putting a little bit of commercial in here then putting some footbridges over that but that will come with time at the moment I just want this area to kind of see if it will grow if it doesn't grow then well it would be just a uh, we could just write it off as a we can just connect give it a road connection and but it's just something it's just the curiosity of it all yeah it's but if you don't try things, how do you expect to be able to develop things? And let's say we're just gonna. We need to get the pipes in. So we'll just kind of zone the pipes in over this area. We can let it grow. So I hope you guys are enjoying the city. I'm kind of starting to find it fascinating. I was, I was a bit worried once I got to the, the, the milestone whether I'd be struggling to kind of, how can you say, find kind of interest. And I know I've been through a little bit of a couple of series of parts have been a little bit flat because it is it can be a bit difficult to actually how can you say come up with a subject for one of these parts and I say I'm just gonna I know it looks a bit odd but my and I think we can probably out this little bit of a coastal um let's put this in here like that we can come across again 440 we can just kind of stick that thing together and we'll just put a, a bit more housing in 
Maybe we just put a bit more housing down this area here. I say if we keep them close to the communications here, and we've got the port. There's no water in the port down here, so. Oh. This is causing a problem. So, just going to have to be a bit creative here. So. Well, we've got no power over there, but I'm sure we will get there eventually. Maybe we can zone something along there just to grow grow the city in that way. We'll have to put houses right on the beach. That's going to be annoying. Maybe if we put a small house, beach house there. Actually, let's let's go low density. Put a couple of low density beach houses right on the beach there. Sorry, it's all in the dark. Um, we're nearly the back to daylight. So, got a massive boost to commercial, probably because people are moving in. So we've got boost to commercial, but at the same time we've got all these signs saying t saying that not enough customers, not enough customers. So it's almost like people aren't travelling to these areas, which is a bit of a problem. We really need to kind of move people this way. Maybe they're all travelling that way. Maybe we can put a bit more a bit more commercial here. On the edge of the this residential area. Um and maybe we'll just drop uh kind of a line of high density there and then that will move people in and that will consume the so I'm not sure how you can I suppose it's the traffic flow isn't it how's the how is the traffic congestion yeah we've got no real connection through here it's almost like what we need is a uh, got no real metro station through. What happens to the metro stations here then? I don't have. A, oh, yeah, I've got a metro station there, haven't I? Yeah, I've got a metro station there. I've got a tram station there. Got a little bit of a tram link here. People moving in and backwards and forwards here. So, and it's growing up. So say what I will probably do off camera is the daylight's coming back, the city's growing. What I will probably do off camera is, is build this on a little bit just to see how it's going, how it's see it, try and see how it's working out. We're actually getting 65 people using the, this connection here. And I think maybe what we actually might need, I probably wouldn't put a tram station here, but what we might need is a is a bus station. How much is this? Cost yeah, I think I think that's cost effective. We can put in a a bus station here and then what we can do is kind of maybe we'll put the first bus line in around this area. Just uh get people moving round round this actually maybe if we kind of come here this can be a a substitute we can put a bus stop there we can just come back this way 
course, people arriving at the port will spawn cars in the absence of no public transport. So what we could probably do is drag this stop here. It's actually got very messy, so I won't bother with that. Maybe we'll just leave that the way it is at the moment. And that can actually pull people in, provide some public transport for this area. And we've got a little bit of entertainment. But you can see how this has actually distorted the beachfront, which is a bit unfortunate, but I don't think there's much we can do about it. Because what we'd have to do is like build a road along here like this. So, so, so you'd imagine it would have to come along like this and build in here. Then that would mean that we can put in some additional touristy type stuff along here like this. Maybe we'll just have a little section like this of along this front here like that. That says there's no road connection. Probably because it's a bit too far away. Maybe we can put you... Uh, ah, pain in the neck, pain in the neck. Um, can we get you in any further? That might actually help. If not, we'll just have to move it. You can see it's not brilliant with this kind of flow here. It hasn't really hooked very well. So maybe we're just kind of filling this area here. Oh, as I say, I'm not, this is totally an experiment, guys. As I say, it's. I've got no idea how this is actually going to work out. I mean, it could be a raging success, or it could be a total and utter failure. But obviously, we're going to make it as tra attractive as possible here, because this is going to be a home city. Maybe it's time to... Maybe we can expand the metro system a bit. Kind of maybe put another station over here. Actually, let's kind of let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Kind of put one there and another one there. Uh, oh, let's go over here. So we've now got. I think what we'll do is we'll just use the, the wealth of the city to drive this connection up here like this. And uh, obviously not connected things up very well. And we can probably do something like that. And what I will do is... Oops. But a metro station stroke connection round like this. And that will kind of should connect things up a bit. And of course, I didn't have the waka waka. I think what we're going to have to do is compromise a little bit on this. I don't 
don't think that's going to that's going to overlap a little bit, but I think we're just gonna have to live with that. Oh, we still got a bit more water down here. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. So we've now got the area of no connection here and I think I've cut the power off so I'm going to pause the game before I kind of destroy the whole area and actually what I'm going to do before I go is I was talking about having an airport in here so let's put an airport in kind of over here kind of just drag this let's actually just pull this road down like this We're going to put another local airport in just here. So we've got an airport here connecting up with a port with a metro station running through here. I will probably tidy it up off camera. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. As you can see, we've now got no connections here who will be relying totally on public transport to, and external connections to get to places. You never know, people might even fly from this airport to this airport. I've got no idea whether that's going to work. And as I say, I will tidy this up off camera and necessarily make changes. And hopefully when the time we come back for the next part, this will be kind of be building up, thriving the metro station, which is probably a little bit out of control now, as I would probably want to put uh, another metro here now so I'd be looking to put another metro station up here somewhere probably like next to the there so I'll probably rethink the metro system here we will probably move one of two of them around a little bit uh, I think that was probably a bit bit off the wall for me to do what I just done so on that point I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'm, sh I'm sure it's been probably it's a little bit oblique. Looks like we've got someone down here that's uh, got no connections, but maybe we can solve that with a little bit of identity residential coming down here. That should connect things up a little bit eventually over time. I'll just let that run so that people can move in and do that. Yeah, I will sort this out off camera. As I say, when we come back, it will be an update. So, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And that's going to be it. So, above all, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>